Welcome to Sun Porch Podcast. This is uh, our series Slasher Virgins, where a group of us go and watch a horror movie, and uh, I, the Slasher Virgin, who has uh, never watched horror movies in my life, uh, give my fresh opinions on these spooky movies that my terrible friends show me. Um, we watched Hereditary today, but we recorded an intro and we lost it, so this is our intro now. Uh, <laughs> um... Nothing else to say. We we didn't know much about this movie, and we had very varied opinions. And uh, listen afterwards. Lots of spoilers in this one, so uh, look out for that. Uh, I would recommend. All right, peace. Booty lap 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 blue. Scotty scap 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 scoop scap scoop scap scoop la 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 scap scap. That's enough. <laughs> All right, and we're back now with a much more full table. Um, go around the table and introduce yourself. We've got our new guru, James. Hey, uh, hey I'm James. My name's Anthony. Uh, I'm Zach. All right, and, and Jacob's still here. We lost yeah. Igor, predictably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was to be expected. <laughs> to be expected. Um, what a weird fucking movie. <laughs> Understatement. 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 <laughs> a very strange, strange movie. Um, James, this was your... Recommendation. How about you take us through why you picked it? Um, I've been told by several people, reviews included, that this movie was scary as shit. I was told that it was very bloody. I was told that it is like the next generation of horror movies, and I was disappointed. You were disappointed. Yeah. Okay. Do we want? I wouldn't be surprised if it was the next generation of horror movies. To be honest with you, like if they just went in this route. I don't want this. <laughs> but I mean, it makes sense because like, what's next for horror movies? Yeah. Well, let's run through what happened in the movie real quick. So, um... Good fucking luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where do we start? So, we start with the... the so, there's a family... Um, in Utah. In Utah. Fucked up And state. the mom... <laughs> <laughs> in only Utah. Uh, so, let's just describe characters real yeah, quick. Yeah, the, the mom's name is what? Annie. 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 Yeah. Annie. And she's, she's a bit off her rocker. Tony Collette, she was, I mean, she's the best part of the movie, in my opinion. Like, mm. her performance is fantastic. You I don't think so? Uh, she played the crazy card a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, it, she, it went back and forth went, between the, the doting mother situation, full, but she still was oh, never actually a good mother right. in this film. Um, and then there was uh, <laughs> my favorite character, Steve, uh, the dad. Steve, the father? Who Steve. had no character. <laughs> he was secretly no. Irish the entire movie. <laughs> he had the awesome. accent, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have the two children, Peter. Uh, Peter who slings who's... dong, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, and, <laughs> and there's Charlie, who is the youngest daughter, who's, I think, said 13. Yeah. Um, yeah. She is a spook fest and a half. She's yeah. one of the craziest looking humans I've ever seen. <laughs> she she looked, like, she looked like a mess from beginning to all, end, all the way to the end. Perfect casting for a horror movie. That poor Lloyd yeah. was that, that it poor made girl's you face. Question poor if she kid. ever that is like, good casting. participated in her own hygiene. I hope like, there was she a lot of makeup. Yeah. I hope there's so much makeup. You gotta hope for a that future role. that that's mm. all makeup. Because if that was just her face, <laughs> If they Jesus weren't prosthetics. Christ. If it's not all makeup, Let's that's see. the last time. Millie Shapiro. She's played by Millie Shapiro. Leave Millie alone. Yeah, no, she's not. She doesn't look... No, no, it's prosthetic. Aesthetics and makeup. Okay, okay. It's prosthetics we're good. and makeup. We're good. Okay. We're good. Someone said while we were watching the movie that that was her face, and I was like, please, dear God, no. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Millie, Millie Shapiro. Shapiro. She related to that other um, Shapiro? But, oh, so, yeah. so basically, she spends. <laughs> <laughs> she spends the first, like, 30 minutes of this movie being just weird yeah. and creepy and Oh, all she the cuts off like a bird's head. It's yes. Yeah. Bizarre. She eats, do you see the way she ate that Hershey bar? Oh, yeah. She, she, she didn't even break it off. Bar. She just bit <laughs> into it and I was like, okay, that yeah, right yeah, yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> that more than anything else. It's so the movie the sign starts, weirdo. So, so the movie starts with the death of these children's grandmother, the, the, yes. the, the, the Tony Lee. called Annie's mother. Um, Which was just too much reading. If, yeah, yeah. That's not a good way to start a movie um, in twenty. The movie starts off. <laughs> <book. text> <laughs> All right, so man. so we're gonna, we're gonna try to speed through this summary. Um, so there's a funeral, and then we get some more creepy Charlie action. Um, the son, the, so and then the son gets an invite to this party. Yes, mm-hmm. I was just gonna go back. Love she it. does see her dead grandma a lot. She does. She sees so something. I don't know if she sees her dead grandma. She sees. Something. I would say this is a movie that would that would benefit from a rewatch. 
It does. Just to go it back does. and see everything what was that really happened. What, what, like, yeah. There's a lot going on in the background in mm-hmm. every shot, but we'll get to that. Um, it would benefit from a, re- a rewatch. Yeah. I would not. <laughs> I, yeah, I exactly, don't think I would right? watch um, this again. What's the, I don't want to pay attention okay, to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, and so uh, she's the seeing weird things, and then the, the son, the Peter, gets an invite to this party, which includes the phrase, <laughs> bring your dick, <laughs> which was the highlight of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> really the best part. No one, no one writing this movie understood how people text at all or invite people to parties. Or speak, in general. Because, like... <laughs> High, high schoolers he did are not a lost use, art. Man. He did not use his dick once in that entire party. No, he didn't. He tried and completely failed. He was like, how's the party? Oh, yeah. How's the party? Yeah, I felt like there was some weird thing going on, like, where the they were, they were still so texting, kind of, but they were talking. Was, was that like, who invited him? That yeah. Girl? You don't understand that's how teenagers apparently talk. No. Yeah. They talk <laughs> through, they talk through they acting like they're not there. there. Oh, yeah, okay. so funny. <laughs> but yeah, no, favorite phrase of the movie, bring your dick. All right. Um, how would he not? Then, but <laughs> his mom makes him bring his his spook fest scary ass sister. But she well, knows it's school, but she doesn't want to go. She she clearly knows yeah, this is a high school party. Awesome. Yes. And Charlie ends up being the youngest person at this party by like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and just and then he's like, he's clearly there to smoke weed and pick up this chick. And then he's like, well, I have my spooky sister. Like, I'll leave her out here. Mm-hmm. And so she stays out here. And then she eats cake, right? She yeah. eats chocolate cake with nuts. And, and nuts then in she's it. allergic to nuts, which is not really set up very well. But is, they is mentioned. They set it up It's mentioned, it's mentioned, it's mentioned, mentioned at the yeah. You have to pay attention. attention. But I, we did not know what was going on. Mm-hmm. We thought it was mushrooms. Um, <laughs> we thought she was having, she was a devil child, and because whole other the, the holy mushrooms were ruining her system. Might still um, be a devil child. <laughs> she's definitely a devil child. They get to um, that later. <laughs> so then she's having an allergic reaction. Her her, her throat is starting to close. Uh, very mild too. She was very acting mild. Rather it calm, took, walking it around. It took a just while. Just <laughs> slowly <laughs> choking yes. to death. I'm also wondering why she didn't have like an epipen. Like yeah, if you have an, if you have a serious allergy like that, yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like we should always have a an very epipen. serious allergy. Um, P.S. Peter, Peter <laughs> can't pull she comes and tells devil. Peter that um, she's like, oh shit, I'm dying. Um, <laughs> and then he's like, okay, we'll get you to the hospital. Um, she's in the back seat. Another weird thing. Why was she in the back seat so much? Uh, I guess to give her space. And then she's her mouth. Oh, she was in the back. The back Peter's seat. fucking. Oh, true. Mm-hmm. He's flooring the car. I think there's like he hits like hundred eighty. Well, like he, hits getting, 80. he was going sixty for a while, and I was like, he really doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then. She sticks her head out to get some air. Charlie sticks her head out of the window to get more air. I don't know how this would work and how, what the benefit She's of that would be. She's a 13-year-old girl, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have her every place. She, she really knows what's going she on. She really has evil knowledge. Um, and then, the, like, another one of the greatest scenes of the movie where we all... Yes. This is this is where the movie went, bam, here. Um, it just slapped she, you right in the face. <laughs> slapped you right. There's a post... Uh, like like a lamp like a telephone, lamp lamp post, telephone, or telephone post or whatever what it is and and it Charlie hits her head as the car is going ninety miles an hour and she gets beheaded and it's like holy fuck dark scene holy crap dark scene and then there's this whole montage of like the family dealing with the loss and like the funeral and that everything and the mom minutes. is yeah. well because the the kid he's still kind of fucked up he never told he his parents never he never told anybody parents. and let his mom just stumble upon yeah. her beheaded daughter in, in the backseat so of her weird. fucking in, in, I mean, like that's gonna traumatize defense, anybody how do you how do you deal with this how do you start that conversation how do you start that conversation how do you mentally process <laughs> hey, oh I just got you my you call the here. cops when you're there and then you Thank just let you. them deal with it like exactly. you don't even have to say anything you call them you be like you need to get get out here and then you just don't talk you're just like man um, I mean, either way, the cops over. got involved. <laughs> I assume the cops got involved. Oh, you, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you guys do, isn't it? I would have liked to have... I thought I called you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, you should solve this. I would have liked to have seen... Arrest the side posts. A, <laughs> I would have liked to have seen, like, a scene where he has to be, like... Yeah, shit. This is what happened. Cause like it's like he's at the funeral. Yeah. Like there's mm-hmm. that that it, that's the next time we see him after he kills his sister. Is like I mean, not kill his sister, but like he well her sister. His, his, <laughs> his involvement yeah, led to her, her death. Because even the mom says he didn't kill her. So it's not her fault for sticking her head out. But the window. at the same time, <laughs> yeah, that's mom. that's the thing. Like what the fuck are you doing? You're going ninety miles an hour. Don't stick your head out. But I mean, I mean, even the mom says you know. It, you no, didn't my kill question her. is like, is she blind? Because you would see the telephone pole. No, you're so close to the telephone. He pole. was swerving to. Avoid he was swerving to room. avoid the deer. Yes, that's that's what what a dead deer. Oh, a dead deer. deer. Which is weird because why would you swerve? Oh, I, you're going nine miles an hour. But you still have a reaction time. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Pretty low car. 
You don't want to mess up the, the bumper. Like, well, he's like, I already he just fucking want to hit my it. sister choking to death on nuts. I can't crash the yeah. car. <laughs> she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. How did she not just get pulled out entirely? That's true. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, well, that's why her head, her whole head. Well, I feel like her body would have like it would have had to caught her right seat. on the chin. Well, know? no, I feel no. Like it, her, so the rest of her body would have slammed forward, and then it would have it just the window caught, caught in the window. Yeah, yeah, you know? and it just completely took it. Where's off. the thousand ways to die episode when you need it? <laughs> that was an episode <laughs> of thousand ways to die. It was an episode was it actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really all right, there's um, people on motorcycles. I don't really remember what happened. They were next. like, so it was, um, there's a cool. bunch of weird shit. The mom is like, <laughs> so, so, so the mom starts going to the um the counseling. Oh, the ghost the anonymous. The, 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 the the go- yeah. No, yeah. she goes to <laughs> <laughs> grief counseling. Grief, <laughs> grief counseling. Grief counseling. Hey, she meets counseling. she meets Joan. Fucking she, Joan. <laughs> Joan, who is clearly a villain. Obviously, um, it was not even kind of like hard to see from the get go. Uh, she was so her sense. weird, like Milwaukee Canadian accent yeah, that she was so using, kind of peculiar. Bizarre. But uh, um, so Joan story. tells her to. Joan is this person who's also lost a family member, quote unquote, uh, two, two, two family members, yeah, right? Yeah. Her son and her uh, grandson. And grandson. Joan then is like, "If you need help, then I can help you because I have lost people too." Hit me up. Uh, <laughs> hit me up. You know us grief people. And um, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think she ever sought out Joan. She no, 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 no. She no. goes to Joan's office next. Are you sure? Joan's yeah, office? Goes, was her, her office? No, no. Her house, her house or something Joan, like that. Yeah. And Joan's like, I thought Joan her always tea. found her in places and got her to No, she over. did. No, no she did no, go she, that first she time. She went to Joan's because she makes the remark about the floor, the, the, the welcoming mat that um, looks like her grandmother's yes. thing. Um, and she's like, well, that's weird. And then they have a conversation that I did not pay attention to. It wasn't worth it. Um, <laughs> uh, and then skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. There's... Then Joan eventually tells her that to come to her house for the seance. Yeah. There's a then she's like, oh my gosh, I was at the seance and they yeah. summoned dead people and mm. shit. They put that same postcard for that skeptic yes, wanted thing in there in, in their, in their, their mailbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did notice that. Um, mm-hmm. And so then, uh, like a like a stupid mm-hmm. idiot, Annie goes to Joan's house mm-hmm. and is like, all right, let's do the seance. And sure enough, there's a ghost in the house. But I mean, she was not fucking with the seance at all. No, she was she like, was I not. can't. She do was like, this is this is weird as shit. And then, so Annie runs out, and but before Annie runs out, Joan gives her the stuff necessary for the seance, um, and then at the house, Annie does a full one eighty on the whole idea of where she stands on seances and everything. <laughs> yeah, and like, she summons yes. she summons her daughter, and well, it works. Which we think could have been her daughter, might not have been yeah, her daughter. Yeah, we'll probably wasn't her daughter. daughter. Well, well, because before then, yeah, she was. has that dream sequence with her son with the ants. No, I think that's afterwards. No, it was before. That then was she, before the seance. Because really? yeah. that's, right that's how she got right into before. it. That's how she got into it. Oh, yeah. Because she yeah. has the whole no, uh, sleepwalking dream yeah. with the, mm-hmm. with the with paint the thinner. Yeah, where she it was, was like, a, it was like a double dream thing. She was yeah. sleepwalking, and she had it was inception. weird. It was, it was very strange. Um, there was a whole nightmare scene there. And then they do the seance. I think she does the seance alone first. And then we get to see her try to get her family to do the seance with her. Steve was a big skeptic. Steve was not, not having it. Having it. <laughs> Even um, the son. Um, it, I mean, Peter was just not having this entire movie, no, which is like, <laughs> <laughs> which made which sense. Is, <laughs> made sense. Peter got fucked um, <laughs> every single turn. <laughs> uh, and then there, they they do the seance, and like the the, the 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 hallmark of the movie is like the cup is moving. Mm-hmm. Um, is that how they prove the ghost is there? And a bunch of other. Like seancey ghosty signs happen, mm-hmm. and the family's like, "What the hell is happening?" P- Peter's having none of it. Peter starts wailing, crying. He's like, crying. Yes, He's his crying dad's it. like, "It's yeah. okay." So much. <laughs> it's and so then weird. Steve is Steve. The dad is like, "Fuck no, we're getting the fuck out of here." <laughs> right. And it does not. The happen. logical response. Yeah. Steve yeah. is like, um, "We're not having any of this." Family. Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, we should we should mention something that happened at the beginning of the movie. Steve gets a call from the. The, the funeral parlor the or whatever cemetery. the cemetery yeah. and says the grandmother's grave has been desecrated and the body yeah. is missing um, that'll come to play yeah. at the end uh, and then this movie has so many fucking plot points uh, <laughs> but they're not even they're almost they're just, not even worth they're it they're almost not even worth yeah, it no. it's weird how it, what, what a weird well because they're always minute and hanging until like yeah. that until end. the very yeah, end it everything it just kind of everything everything coalesces uh, so there's a lot of scenes where Peter, after this, where Peter's like in school and he's Struggling. freaking the fuck out. Yeah. He keeps seeing shit. 
hearing clicks and pops. Hearing and clicks. The, the 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 daughter does this little click with her tongue, and that's used throughout the rest of the movie mm-hmm. to kind of show that the when her ghost is here. Yeah. yeah, that's why um, I think it wasn't a demon; it was actually her. I know. I think it for sure was her. But no, it was. I think. A I think. Demon. It, I think. Oh, she's also a demon. She's, she's, she's also she is the demon. Yeah. Any like Cut I can not pigeon heads. If you haven't seen this movie, Google this yes. this yeah, girl's true. face. Very Jesus, true. that's what it was. Um, okay, and but, then basically, well, I'm gonna skip ahead. The movie there comes a point where this movie just goes full throttle, and at one after point, after an hour and forty five minutes, yeah, it was <laughs> it was a very long time into the movie where it just like starts going crazy, and there's all there's a cult. That the grandmother was a part of, mm-hmm. and the cult is using the Charlie daughter to be like the summoning of a demon or something. And so basically, what happens Amen. is is Annie realizes that this is not good. That Charlie is clear. Charlie keeps trying to like kill Peter, or that's the the assumption that we're getting, mm-hmm. and it ends up being true. Mm-hmm. Um, so Annie's like, "Oh God, we got to get rid of the symbol that is." that is calling Charlie and she tries to burn the notebook because and earlier in the movie she tries to burn the notebook and she her sleeve kind of lights on fire mm-hmm. so she thinks that when she burns this notebook she's going to light on fire and kill herself sacrifice but herself she's trying to sacrifice you know, which call and so she's like alright alright Steve burn the notebook so I can burn too and all this shit and then you'll be safe and then Steve is like dude Still wasn't you're happy. crazy <laughs> he's like I'm going to call the police <laughs> I'm going to call the police and you're going to a mental hospital oh well and then, before that they did find the body in the attic oh they find the grandmother's body in the, the attic her beheaded beheaded yes. a lot of beheading I don't know where movie. her head even where did that even come into play later on why did she get beheaded yeah I have to ask her no. which person I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that in a second um, we need a cult encyclopedia yeah yes <laughs> uh, and so then we go and we have the scene where uh Steve is like, I'm not throwing this book into the fire. And then uh, Annie's like, I'll do it. And she throws it, fully expecting she's going to burn. But then Steve burns. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite character <laughs> dies. Um, horribly. Wasn't horribly. Character. Horribly. I love Steve. Discount Liam Half of the character. <laughs> <laughs> like Discount Liam character. Neeson. Good way to describe him. Liam Neeson didn't kill people. This is exactly what I <laughs> <laughs> Um And so then... Then it looks like the mom is possessed, mm-hmm. and she starts trying to go after Peter. She just chases Peter in this hilarious scene where she's like on the ceiling. She swam out the room. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. that's someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, another thing that happens in this movie apparently there's like people in the background of a lot of the shots, and there's all naked. There's just scene, naked. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, of dong. Uh, <laughs> um, really a large amount. Um, and, but then there's this scene. I don't think this, this person was. I think this was Charlie. I think this person was Charlie. They alluded to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think this person was Charlie, and it's the scene of Peter in his bed, and there's someone on the ceiling behind him, and then he tries to turn his head, and then at the back of the scene, the so person stop. is like doggy paddling through the air out the door. <laughs> um, just. Like we all, I don't think it's supposed to burst. It's like a combination moment. Spider-Man, Wonder Dog. Oh, like it's weird. so funny. Uh, so <laughs> then <laughs> all this crazy shit. Peter's like, "Oh my god, I'm so fucked." He, she runs up to the attic, which was the which dumbest dome. Like, why? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> the mom ends up killing herself with a piano wire. wire. Yeah, she, she cuts her head off. It's literally thirty off. seconds of her. Oh, like, it's so horrible. It's so much. Oh, so so much. You can hear the bone getting cut by the wire. That's enough. Um. And the kid turns around and he sees the naked cult members and he jumps out the window. Yes, he yeah. jumps out the window. And it's sort of a very, very beautiful scene of him just laying on the ground and you hear his mother's head thud to the ground. Oh, yeah. beautiful you know, scene. Thank you, Zachary. Beautiful <laughs> scene. And then, a, and then a, a little light pops into Peter and he sort of wakes up. Yeah, and then he goes and want to get into the house. whole light that was going on this whole movie. The, yeah, the light, yeah, no, the light, the, the things going, going down. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He needed some existential force to keep popping up. So, I guess the light <laughs> yeah. worked. so Peter goes into the tr- family's treehouse, and in the treehouse, there's like this oh. shrine with Charlie's head on top of this like wooden body with his crown on it. It kind of looks like a Jesus kind of thing. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's meant to mimic. Wasn't thing. supposed to be Jesus, apparently. Panem or something like that? Pan- one of the eight kings of hell. Well, yeah, Pot- one of the eight Pot- kings of hell called Panem. I didn't know Panem had a king. Payment. 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 King Payment. 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 Okay. Payment. It was Payment. Um, and Payment. That- <laughs> we all said it now. <laughs> um, and then he's like looking around and then Joan is there. I think she's now the leader of the cult or something. No. He puts Payment's the leader. Always okay. the leader. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
It's the so payment right. Someone puts the crown on Peter's head, and <laughs> apparently this doctor. transfers. This is a Scooby Doo reference. <laughs> It's like it's not like a it's like a Burger King crown, man. And this <laughs> transfers the spirit of whatever demon. demon into Peter that was living in Charlie. The demon needed a male. Host. But is it with yeah. Charlie? Yes. Is it well, with we'll Charlie? Because it seems know. like it. And that's where the movie I know ends. what happened. There was a cult or something. <laughs> no, she wanted to put payment into the the son, but. Right. The wife, or Annie, wasn't talking to her yes. mother when she had the son, yes. so she missed her opportunity, so she decided, I'll put the demon in the girl, mm-hmm. and that's when she mm-hmm. said she got her hooks in her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I, because I think you have to be, like, vulnerable for the... Yeah. So if you're, yeah. like, a little kid, like, you're vulnerable, I guess? Is yeah. that yeah. also why the grandma wanted to breastfeed her so bad? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thing? yeah. Yeah, so yeah. there was, if you saw one of the dioramas that, like, Annie makes is her in bed with what looks to be an infantile Charlie, yeah. and then her mom just, like, showing her boob. <laughs> also, the the mom. Oh, the mom makes it. the mom makes yes. dollhouses, which yes. is the creepiest thing. Honestly. Really detailed dollhouses. Really detailed, and I mean, it's like her mom. It she is, she detailed like what, her what grandma. We, right, I, I, we'll we'll go there first. What do we think? That had to be some sort of symbol. It, it, well, they used yeah. it in the it's camera angles as well. Yep. That's true. Like, the camera angles. And the, the last scene the of end. the movie. Right, mm-hmm. the last scene of the movie. Even the, the opening scene. pops out and yes. it looks like the treehouse becomes a little more. And that's when you yeah. realize this yeah. was the sequel to being John Malkovich. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. like, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Where? Um... <laughs> Before we like get into this movie, it has an eighty nine percent. It has an eighty nine percent on on Rotten Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Or on Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes. And let me tell you, no. <laughs> really? All right. So no. let's let's just first get into like impressions. James, what do you what did you think? No. Six really? out of ten max. The best scene in the entire movie was the mom cutting off her head. Oh, wow. Not because just because it was so graphic and extreme, and it like it was the real it was the best pace of the movie. It, the movie really sped up. Outside of that, it was just boring exposition, lame generic ghost stuff, things you didn't really need to know because it's like you could see it in the visuals. I mean, the movie just, it took an hour and 45 minutes for the movie to start. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Other than, other than, other than the daughter, like, getting her head smacked off. True. That That started the movie and then it ended. (laughs) All right, Anthony, give us, give us your thoughts. I actually like the movie. It's, it gave me the cult vibes that I wanted. At the same time as you were saying, James, there were a lot of ghost filler crap that I could have done without. Mm -hmm. Uh, The setup of the whole cult probably could have been streamlined a lot quicker with Mm -hmm. just Joan being, you know, found out or something. I don't know why she had to show up at the end as this weird narrating voice, but still never be addressed. Uh, There's just a lot of things that I feel like the writing, the writing in an effort to make everything more scary was... Uh, they just tried to like keep curving around mm-hmm. plot ideas instead of addressing them uh, like forthright. You knew yeah. it was scary because the music kept going. Wah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Wah. those strings came yeah. in, and I knew somebody yeah. was possessed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, what do you think, man? I liked it, and you've never seen any horror movies. All that's right. the that's, that's the thing. thing. What right. did you As someone, I, the, the thing that this base show is based on is zero experience with horror movies. I really liked it. Um, not anyway, I would say it's the best one we've watched for this podcast. Really? What have you watched? We've watched, watched Sinister it? and uh, the Sinister. original Halloween. Okay. I would say it's close with Sinister. I think like, yes, I hated Halloween. Uh, uh, Halloween, yeah, the original true. Halloween trash. Sinister. <laughs> Sinister the Better Bagul? Than this. Sinister's Bagul. Okay, there was no Bagul in this movie at all. <laughs> I don't know None! Why. <laughs> None! Okay, Payman, but, much less fun to say than Bagul. Yeah, like 100%. But I feel like if I went back and watched this movie again, there would be a lot in the making of this movie and the production of this movie that I would appreciate more having knowing what uh, knowing the, the final thing that this movie is trying to yeah. reveal. I, a lot of the movie is really slow and really long, and yes. I will that's I will dock points off that for that. Mm-hmm. It does not need to be two hours. It could easily be an hour thirty minutes, definitely, and it would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Was that that was them writing themselves in plot circles? Yeah. the whole movie. Yeah, you could cut down on a lot of that, and I, there's a lot of tension built, and I think that leads up to why the last like thirty to uh, forty five minutes are like really really good. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it's worth. I don't know if it's uh, worth two it. hours. Oh, two my God, it was so long. <laughs> two it hours and seven long. minutes. No. It was very long. <laughs> yeah. All right, go for it, Zach. Uh, so I'll say, I mean, I totally agree with you because I came into the movie like 45 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think it took all of, like, well, like five seconds to catch you up. Yeah, no. I missed like three plot points. Yeah. 
after like forty five minutes. But the 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 movie the parts of the movie that I did watch the it was pretty good. I I thought I I think my main it's not even a problem or an issue with the movie. It's just the way it panned out. It seemed like none of the characters really ever had any say in what happened to them. Like I think the dad, especially like the dad, tried to do what Steve. was right. God bless you, Steve. And he, he just got lit on fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's like God bless Steve. Seems like no. He didn't know this. He was a German architect. Oh, like <laughs> came and said no. They were in a to to a and 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 Sign up for this shit. That's, that's, that's probably like, that's probably like what the dollhouse bit was about. Like none of the characters really like it was all sort of inevitable. Oh, they're just they're like, oh, being true. pulled yeah. by strings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and there's that whole scene where Peter is like controlled like a doll in the yeah. yeah. classroom. In the oh, classroom. Yep. You're right. Yeah. Right. When he has he okay. basically has a seizure. Yeah. <laughs> no. So. I mean, that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing. For me, it's a bad thing, I think, but but for the movie as a whole, it, it works. I really like yeah. it. Yeah. All right, go for it, Jacob. Um, Jacob hated this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, was, Jacob was so bad. <laughs> this movie wasn't very good. <laughs> Not point. enough Rowan Atkinson. Uh, um, first problem. Second off, it, it was way too long. I think everyone's pretty much covered that. It was, yeah. it was yeah. disgustingly long. <laughs> Just two hours and seven two minutes. Hours, two hours and seven minutes to be like, there's a cool cult you could have learned a lot more about and yeah. had a good time watching a movie yeah. about, but no. That's yeah, another thing. The true. mythology was never yeah. like a dress. Was yeah, a but here's well, a I point. like that, though. Yes. I like yeah. that, though, because will, he leaves strings hanging for the mythology. I agree with Zach, mm-hmm. because there's a lot to be said about like not sh- revealing your entire monster. I feel like, that's why... Yep. Like, but there's not revealing it, and then there's right. never revealing what? it. I feel like they never you really never see the shark. You, no, it's, no, it's you never saw the shark dreading. in Jaws because the shark they were using for production yeah, was no, broken I know, but it, I know, but for the first ninety being... percent of filming. It wasn't a creative choice by Steven Spielberg. I know, but it ends up being the reason why that movie is kind of scary. Is because there's yeah, more kind of scary menacing. and a cult classic. I, I think say, are two different things. Yeah, the original Jaws was not scary. No, no. not at all. Not at all. And this movie was also cool. Not there, there are two. There, there, are of, <laughs> there are plenty of terrifying. There are plenty. There are plenty of good movies where they don't explain everything, and it's perfectly fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this, this one was one of them. Work. Yeah, this was not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, a good way to put it. Oh, this was not one of them. Other than knowing that a cult, oh, actually, other than knowing about a cult halfway through the movie, other than that, you're just half, with no, this. no, no, sorry, even halfway. Seventy-five percent of the movie, maybe 85. even eighty. Yeah. Eighty-five. <laughs> Honestly, the last fifteen minutes. But uh, besides that, we don't really know what Payman was. Or is I just thought it was some intense spirit. Honestly, for the first like half an hour, I thought it was just the grandpa. The very last. The very last scene. scene. So how do I know that this ghost or demon is scary? I'm even fine with that. Like not knowing who, like like what to call the demon until the end. That's true. It was revealing the purpose of the cult at the end, but like. No exposition on the grandmother was in a cult other than she was weird. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that opening scene was at the funeral. Rituals. We, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we get a cut like half the oh the scary the the, the family scared of ghosts scene. She opened up those. She opened up those photo albums. That's where she found out that the yeah. grandmother was in a cult. Right. Very first scene of the movie, or second or third scene of the movie, she's looking at him and like, I'm not gonna open these. Mm-hmm. You would have just yeah. opened those. No movie. And then Jenny would have seen true. Joan. Yeah, mm-hmm. in that yeah, weird. Also, I one thing speaking about seeing Joan when she saw that mat, it's like you've known your mother for how long? You know her. I, I don't think she knew her that well though. And like you know, it's mat. You're just like, eh. it's like I, I'm pretty sure it's like if you my mom made mats and I see a mat that looks like my mother anybody. made it, yeah. it's like you would be like so. And she never even addressed it. She's like, oh, it looks like something my mom made. And she was Joan she never addressed it. She never. But even like addressed no, she Joan said, mat. oh, well, interesting. How do you look into the specific needlepoint to make sure that it wasn't her mom stitching? Like she just has to roll it. How many moms knit knit fucking mats? Doormats. A lot of them. Why do people do that? But it's like in a small town. In at a least, small town. In Utah, in Utah there's in probably Utah. more. Yeah. <laughs> this is the ratio of women. <laughs> fair point. Fair point. <laughs> um, the number of moms. God. Yes, let's talk. Let's get into more about the dollhouses. Because I kept. These dollhouses are littered around the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I kept being like, this has to mean something. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. such bizarre. Other than, like, it showed a little bit of, like, what the grandmother's relationship was with uh, Charlie. It definitely so gave a lot of Who was controlling Charlie? Was it the puppeteer? Mm-hmm. 
Charlie was, was so it? freaking scary. No, I think Charlie was I think, just payment. She I think was just in the first five she minutes of the movie, I think I said, I hope this child dies. You and, did. And, <laughs> wow. And I'm glad she did. You are, but she didn't even... She, the thing is, she it's like so the scary. build up to the death wasn't worth it to me. She was so scary. She wasn't. She, the scariest thing she did was cut that pigeon's head off. Yeah, it was a weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was a weird. Toys, it, it was barely even scary. Right. It was, was weird. Was the beheading? Was the beheading? <laughs> yeah, with some scissors. Uh, definitely foreshadowing. Definitely foreshadowing. Well, definitely. Foreshadowing. Oh no, because that's what Payman likes. Well, it's all yeah. decapitated heads. She was. Think payment. about it. It's all she was payment. She was payment. Yeah. She wasn't yeah. possessed. She well, was. She was payment. She was payment. The she mother was all possessed by payment. The mother had the demon yeah, put into level, the baby yeah. when it was born. Yeah. I don't and think that's the, why, the grandmother, not the grandmother, or the grandmother. The grandmother. Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. 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 Uh, she put. She had the payment put into the baby, and then the whole point was we have to get him out into a male host because he doesn't like this body. Because right. so the baby was dead from death. Because yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. The the daughter. Yeah. She had even said at one point she was like, "Grandma wanted a boy." Yes, she wanted me yeah, to be a boy. She does say that. And it's like, and that kind of was weird, but it helped, you know, get into more things later on. And I think the dollhouse has also provided some exposition on what was going on outside the family. I also think, Zach, the point you touched on with, like, people being yeah. controlled and that whole that metaphor was, yeah, that's spot on. Was, was it Zach, worth it? No. Was, was it worth someone painstakingly all right, making here, all these dollhouses? Let me ask you, what props <laughs> development had to make all these dollhouses? And then she you. smashed them, but yeah. Let me ask yeah, this yeah, question. Yeah. If this hour, if this movie is an hour and 30 minutes... Would I watch it? Does it like what are, elevate? What it? are you cutting out? Yeah, what are you cutting out? Yeah. Just, well, I mean, I think you just cut out most like, of the start. Oh, uh, there's clicking in the background. How about an hour and uh, seven minutes? Take out an hour. An hour and seven minutes? No, I think there's well, a lot of artistry. What points in this movie. can be taken out? There's something out. to be said. There's something to be said for what this movie is. I didn't like it personally, mm -hmm. but it's, if you're looking for like a horror movie that's like long and like purposefully made, Plot twist, yeah. two hours of this was purposeful, made. purposeful yes. filmmaking, then, then it's, then this it's a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Then go yeah. for it. Plot twist, I don't think there were any plot twists. I think that... There weren't. Th it no, was, there it, were no plot twists. I think that like... Just right. weird curves around the same point yeah. over and over I think and over it was again. weird like twists. I, yeah. Yeah. They were turns. There yes. were plot stop signs. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> no you. Um, no use. But you don't think if this is an hour and thirty minutes, like it's like because it would have been like way best. better. What are you but cutting like, out? If you're cutting out exposition, mm -hmm. that doesn't make the movie better because you have to put in no, better I, scenes. I think, I think the movie just, was lacking in terms of actual horror content, and it felt like it was I just a horror story. I, but I, I didn't agree. need a personally. What started me off not liking this movie. And what continued and rode me out the entire time not liking this movie was I didn't need the entire plot with Steve and this girl in his class. Yeah. If the whole reason yeah. was we're just gonna have, early. Well, we're, just gonna have early. we're just gonna have this girl to capture it. In their defense, like, they dropped it right after the You could have done that. Like, it, it didn't get. Uh, you could have done that on the way to the party. So like, my my thought with that is that all of that I didn't was need a, the party scene. Okay, I'll give you, you this. Have, all of that was just a red But why would she eat the cake? The way I would cut out is all of just Charlie haunting them. There's and, and there's this whole this this whole section of the movie where point. where Charlie isn't even haunting them yet and we're still just seeing Peter be sad like because I mean the whole haunting I think what I got from it was it's coming about because of their sort of neglect not towards her yeah. but uh, towards each other this family cannot deal with their own issues none of them have been able to they, deal with their own issues or the yeah. families itself so she's kind of as that that haunting presence trying to say like just, bitches open up just be honest but, about no, what you so done. the he dad never tried. admitted to killing her. The mom never admitted to fucking up with both of her kids. Uh, like she did. She said she was sorry when she yeah. when she woke him up to do the sound. She said he was sorry. But even before that, when they had the dinner, the dad said, "I made dinner. Everybody come down so we can actually talk." That the son said, tried to engage. <laughs> That's what he said. The son tried to engage. The mom opened up. Everyone, you know, bitched and moaned and complained and did whatever they well, did. All her sisters did. <laughs> But, like, even nothing came of it. Honestly, it all felt like a red herring to make us think, oh, this is the plot, this is the scary stuff, but really it's some cult right, over here on I the side. but I really think that if... I, I Maybe cult. this movie felt the long on cult. the first watch, but I think if I go back and watch this movie... It's, it's going to be even longer. Awesome. Rewatching the end, it made really? a lot more sense. I think it's going to be awesome. I liked it. No. I think you're going to watch it again. It deserves a second watch. It deserves a second watch, but not, I don't second think watch. the second watch will make it better. I think it'll make it clear. Yeah, clear um, doesn't mean better. But I think it's going to reveal a lot of just kind of the intricacies of the plot. I think someone took a lot of care. While with it was complicated, while there was a lot put into it, just by itself, plot's not that cool. All right. There's a demon. All right, all right. Let's this get cult's to... trying to get the demon out. That's it. 
Like right. if if this, if all this cool. intricate stuff had built up to something more yeah. original, yeah. But it's cool. hereditary. It's hereditary. Think about it. So the grandma is the queen. She's queenly or whatever. She's also, obviously no married to the squares. Demon. No punted squares. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not even remotely <laughs> about ALS. Squares, I, I didn't call punted squares. Anymore. I called ALS. Igor called punted squares. Uh, I was gonna take a bet <laughs> with both of you that neither of those things are gonna be in the movie. But I didn't feel confident enough. They followed the idea of a sort of cult based off of a monarch. That's and it's almost like the hereditary passing of power. That's it tried to go to the daughter, it couldn't. That's so they cute go to the and son. all, but like that's just because your plot relates to the title. Well, that's every movie. But I like it because <laughs> it, it almost sets it up where this family Not, doesn't even yeah. know what they're it's signing up for. Movie. The family doesn't know that they are hereditarily linked to this stupid cult. I don't think so Clark Kent yeah. knew he was going to be related to Superman when they named Wait, the movie. What? Superman. <laughs> it, yeah, but, but it came out what? of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> And so you think this is going to be James, hereditary? No. <laughs> um, we we uh, where do you rank? I want to ask Jacob a question real quick. Where do you rank this among the movies we've watched? Sinister Last. Halloween. Sinister. Last. Wait. What's below your Halloween. Below Halloween. That movie was so bad. The original Halloween's dope. No, it was <laughs> not. <laughs> Nostalgia yeah. factor be alone <laughs> was better than this movie. No, yeah, I can I can play you back your comments from that podcast. You hated that movie. I was drunk. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's why you liked it. <laughs> Nostalgia uh, factor alone, that movie was better. Yeah, no, for sure. Terrible. That's what I'm saying. I would, say, I would rather watch Jamie well, Lee Curtis just yell for two hours. And watch yeah, it again. yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you the I, whole time I just got to talk about how Jamie Lee Curtis may or may not be a man. <laughs> It's an Activia commercial. Yeah, you feel regular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I mean, God. also speaking of like some of the scenes in the movie, just uh, the, when he burned, that was so lame. I was lame. Like, yes, he burned for two seconds. They showed it for two seconds, yeah, and it looked burned. like it looked like they were burning a mannequin. Yeah, well, they, were they probably were burning, burning a man. Yeah, <laughs> but let me tell you, I've, I've watched better movies with better burning scenes, and they could have done. Oh, you guys better. are hating this movie hey, so man. much more than I think it deserves. I don't think you've ever seen I, a there's, real there's life possible. demon no. <laughs> light somebody on fire. So maybe it looks a lot like a mannequin being lit on fire. You don't know many demons. All right, all right, all right. All right positive things. Positive. positive things. Anyone have anything positive? Yeah. Jacob, I want you to say a positive thing. I, I did. I think it, I think they put a lot of work into it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. All right, James. It was intricate. So, <laughs> something for something positive to say. I'll pin it on the movie. fridge. You know, you, you, you drew it. Nice. <laughs> it's a dog. Yes, it's a dog. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, something, <laughs> something positive. I thought the characters were actually well done. I really liked... Define well done. So the acting was Steve cool. is still not a full over character. character. No, that doesn't matter. But Steve was I, I think the acting accent was, done, and was well done. Because I liked Annie. I thought she was... Um, Crazy. Uh, she she really played she the role played of crazy, crazy, well. crazy well. She played Holy crazy well. Cow. And Steve played I'm the role of. I'm fully on board with this Tony Collette for an Oscar thing. That, the whole that was happening. Like I didn't know about that. for this movie. For this movie. Oh, she, she did a really good job. She did a really, she did a really good job. She did a really good job. Yeah. She really made me think she was crazy. Who won the Oscar this year? Um, the person on the favorite, Joan Jett. No, Olivia Colman from the favorite, which was I mean, like yeah, but I didn't really like the favorite. Didn't watch it. Hot oh, are trash. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that now. If this gets us like demoted or whatever, oh, like dude, dude, we don't whatever get you advertisers. Want. But no. say whatever you want. Oscars We're not gonna get advertisers, dude. No one listens to this. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to get. I want to get subs or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> James, smash that, that like button. <laughs> oh my god. But it's all like right. no, like positive. The acting was good. Acting I think I think all the actors did a pretty decent job. Of Direction's playing, great. The, playing their role. The direction yes. was great. They played their roles correctly. Were the roles good? Debatable. I, <laughs> but I think they played your those problems roles right. lie within just like it's not that super original, and you don't you didn't feel that the payoff my, was worth the wait. My problem was it wasn't scary. It was a yeah, scary. It, wasn't a scary it was a scary. Movie. Movie. It was, was a scary story that, that if someone scary. like That's said this, you were laughing your ass off. Right. Right. I laughed a lot. The donkey <laughs> paddle <laughs> scene. The, the donkey, donkey paddle, paddle scene was so, so funny. funny. It was. Who, who set that up? <laughs> all the direction in the movie. They had all the harness. They were like, all right, now do this. There is a stunt guy that wants to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, do you know how hard it is to make it look like a demon is possessing a body? Busted his ass making those those those. 
dioramas of the houses. Yeah. So many, and then she just smashed them, and then she wants to doggy paddle out the room. Like, really? That was so disrespectful to me as a, as a movie watcher. As a viewer, I like, was angry. <laughs> like, I, I was laughing. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was... It was, it was, it was uh, you know what? I was... The, the piano... The, the, the mom behind yes. herself was... Horrifying! Yes. Oh my man. god! But not so scary. It was horrifying. But that's yeah. fine. I rather that was I, scary. I, 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 I that was a thrilling scary. moment. That was something that made me really. I was like, "What the fuck was I? What what am I watching right now?" I don't know. I watched a My point. Strange Addiction the other day of a woman eating, <laughs> <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating her uh, dead husband's ashes. Much oh scarier. Oh much god. scarier. <laughs> much scarier than that. So. So Around was, that part of the movie, though, the I was sympathizing <laughs> really hard with Peter. Like, Peter was no, obviously, he was getting, fucked up. He was getting fucked up. He was scared for his life. Both yeah. of his parents, he just, he one is toasty that. downstairs, and the other one's chasing after him, banging her head against doors. That, like, that was scary, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was yeah. Like, she was <laughs> one <laughs> <she was laughs> ring on the, on yes. the attic yeah. door. On the attic door. Um, yeah. But I, I legitimately She was reverse national lampooning the attic door. What's I'm surprised by the movie references. Don't I was <laughs> so scared. It, it, so scared. Can't handle <laughs> so, one thing. One thing I wanted to ask. So, like, when the son, like, the when the son got the daughter killed, like, was that his? Was he right to just like leave? Should he like? He called thank you. you. I think we should address this because I do think so because too. like you had to think about it. If you killed your sibling right, trying to save their table. life. All right. It's like, how James, would you even... How would you handle that situation? How would I handle that situation? Ooh. I don't even... Need... <laughs> let me think, let me think. So, like, so like, you... It's like, I have a sister. Can and I bury know. the body? It's, it's not even, can I bury the body? You're wild. <laughs> You're wild. But it's like, how do you emotionally process this? It's like, I'm trying to save her life, and I get her killed. It's like, I would probably just sit there and wait till someone comes. Because what do you... Like, I wouldn't even know how to emotionally process it. It's a desolate road, yeah. It's like, it's a random I mean, Utah to I, I, would, I would call the Someone police. hit a deer on it the other day. Yeah. Like, drive there. It, that was five days ago. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I don't, I don't necessarily blame him for going back home. I think he should have said something. You I think pick he should have... See, thank you. You pick up the head. No, you pick up, you right. pick up right, the right. head. All right, Anthony, yeah. how do you yeah. handle this? Literally, it's illegal. Because, okay, so you already, you already screwed yourself up, right? Yeah. You definitely just killed your sister. You know your grandma just died. <laughs> Did you know? Yes. <laughs> yes, you know you killed your sister. <laughs> you know she's 13, the she knows she's allergic to nuts. Don't eat the cake with the nuts in it. Come on. That's true. The girl should have known that these are definitely not chocolate bits. <laughs> Don't these stick your head out the window. Nuts. Where's, where's the her hospital? EpiPen? Where's in her, her defense, she's a 13-year-old girl who could breathe. She's 13. She's 13-year-old girl who couldn't breathe. And the wind she will help? You went skydiving. How could you breathe? <laughs> was that nice? It's when you go really high up. If you open you your mouth, skydiving? yeah, I would. Indoor I would do skydiving. Yeah, we'll get out of here. Yeah. Oh. Not as good as that. She cool. said it's the same thing. No. <laughs> she the said instructor it. lady said it was the exact same. The instructor, lady, the instructor lady was like, "It feels the same." It does. It she's feels. She's never like, been skydiving. Dude. She, she, I swear, she's been skydiving. She got that job two weeks ago. Yep. She showed us pictures. I was like, "Oh, I believe." But of course, she was saying, "Okay, what do you do? What do you do with you?" Me personally, You've I would get the head. head only because, head. only because. And then what do you do? Okay. <laughs> you drive back home. You drive back home and you have to confront your parents. You have to. So you don't call the as a, as a child, he's what, like 16, maybe 17? You are a teenager who just killed your sister. <laughs> But you, you did it. You and your high. Really? He didn't, he didn't and kill your them. high off your ass. Like, you need to just at least have some semblance of truth. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you have to admit it to the parents. You have to. Uh, because yeah. it could have avoided the mom getting more traumatized by finding her decapitated daughter. How do you bring that up, though? Um, yeah. How do you... Is bringing it up with her discovering the body better? Yes. How? I would rather my parents find an F than me say, hey, I got an F. Well, never mind. That's a different situation. Thank you. <laughs> Actually. Situation. So, like, so, hmm, there's no way to bring that up. No, I think step no. one is not coming home when you're high. Yeah. yeah. Waiting it out. But then what? Waiting, waiting it out with the out. sister yeah, in the back seat? Hold on, hold on. She keeps all the way back home hold with her on, in the back hold seat. Hold on, hold on. Zach, 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 Zach is going to present the waiting it out strategy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, I want to hear this. The way to get out strategy is you wait it the fuck out. You sit there for like four or five hours or whatever. With your sister bleeding in the back? With your sister bleeding in the back. And the car stood off, the, the head still outside the car, right? You didn't pick it up? No, you pick up the head and you put it in the car. Okay, <sighs> want to make sure, want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know the whole strategy. That was a little so important to you. And then you drive home, 
and you're horrified, right? Because your sister's dead. And you say to your parents, oh my god, there was a deer in the road, and I swerved. Are you going to say, oh my god, like it's a surprise? No. Let, let him <laughs> it go was through his own fake scenario. You have to, no, you to. have to act traumatized. This is Zach in the no, scenario. And I don't think it would be really hard. Wait, act <laughs> traumatized? Yeah, which I don't think it would be really hard considering that you would actually be traumatized. <laughs> Well, you're an actor. What is your actor in the situation? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So Jacob, you, Jacob, how do you handle it? Well, first of all, I appreciate the lack of necrophilia jokes throughout all your responses. <laughs> Does that mean you have a couple? Of <laughs> 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 you know, not make necrophilia jokes. I'm not gonna. I'm just saying. I love how like I don't know. There's this entire see, podcast we've been laughing about dead people, like people, like children dying, and now this is going <laughs> too far. <laughs> like, there's, there's, there's but, um, children, fake children dying. Yeah, it's fake. yeah, it's uh, fake. Disclaimer that this movie feelings. didn't actually happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the Blair Witch Project. It's based off a We're real good. Utah story. <laughs> you know what? It happened in 2017. Um, you call the police and then let them handle it. Yeah. Whoop, that's their job. Whoa, crazy. That's their job. That's, I'm with you. So no, either, that's their job. You don't have to tell, you don't have to break the news to your parents. But you, yeah. but you can't call that. the police when you're high. Either way. If why not? You're, why not? Dead, there is so much already happening. There, you you being high is the least of you're their job. But if you're high, you're culpable. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, it's true. About? But let's, let's go back no, to being reasonable. No. He wasn't, he wasn't uh, drunk at all, right? He didn't drink. He just smoked. So what really would no, that that's say no, that as no, him being high or no, him being traumatized? Is, no. He could have got away with it. He could have got what away with it. What is the charge on that? I feel no, that's, well, that's, well, that's, that's, that's not a DUI. It's still a DUI. Yeah. Yeah. They can't prove that he was high. He but it's, but it's not a DUI. The DUI would then transfer. It would be like... Well, you don't even have to talk to the cops. You don't. It would be manslaughter. It's not even manslaughter. It wasn't... It's... So I guess in a way, yes, it would be manslaughter. It was obviously he wasn't charged. Manslaughter. Obviously no. he wasn't charged though. It's implied that he spoke to the no, police. No, because if you're it's not implied, it's it not is implied. implied. No, it's, it's actually not implied. So how they get the body? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not implied. It is not implied. It, 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 she actually says she at the, dinner, at the dinner table. He yes. says like you haven't talked about this at all. Mm-hmm. Like he and hasn't mom, said anything. The mom in died. her rant, she said, "I keep lying for you," and obviously there's some sort of cover up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was no there was no contact in the police as far as I can tell. They, they, no yeah, they got that thing. stealthy blue kitty coffin. <laughs> yeah. 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 So they managed to just yeah. you you so you what? You go to a funeral home, you're like, I need to bury this decapitated body. Well, no, and they don't ask questions. Clearly you just they say got the head. Head. I'm accident. pretty sure if you go to a funeral home. You just home, say that when you get to the funeral home? Clearly or? no. But like you I'm call pretty, the police and say there was an accident. There was an accident. The head's there. Yeah, the body's the here. Police are not that thirty-two. <laughs> yeah. You can't miss it right by the dead deer in the middle of the road. road. <laughs> I feel like I feel like uh, burning, burning for burning the ashes was the way to go. Real quick though, can we talk about that burning shot the ashes. of what? Oh, sorry, burning the body. That shot of what's what's the daughter's name again? Charlie's head Charlie. in the road. That was yeah. crazy. Oh, that so was, that I did not really expect intense. that. Oh, those ants some cool camera work. work. Really, really yeah. Yeah. very good. Yeah. Cool. The, the, the camera work was great. Use of mirrors. Yeah. Yes. yes. Windows. Even the angles. Just people being mm-hmm. mean corners. Everything was crooked. Did you realize that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Almost like you want to. Seventy-five percent of the shots were crooked. Horror movie one one. Yeah. Very weird. Everyone in the room kept saying Wes Anderson. I was like, please stop. No. Yeah, that was annoying. Yeah. Yeah. It's because there was some shots. That's just because like everyone in our house is way too big of a fan of Wes Anderson, which is like. I'm kind of bad. Thank you, job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Does, does anyone else anything else to add? Add? No. No. I didn't no. like it. I like this movie. <laughs> all right, let's, let's give it a second. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. Can we do like a scale one, of one to ten. Just do one to ten. Yeah, one to so. ten. One to ten. Um. I'll. No. Uh, one to five. Give me one to five. One to ten. One to ten. One to ten. movies. All right. One to five, but you're allowed to do point fives. Okay. Oh my god. My spell would be one to ten. All right. If we're doing one to five, I'm gonna do. Um, I'll I'll do three out of five. Three. Wow. Wow. So I think you've gone up. Well, no, you said six out of ten, but you you've obliterated that yeah. from the category. So right, what are you? What are you six out of ten. ten. <laughs> Which is the same as three out of five. No. No. Six no. out of ten oh, yeah. is the same as three out of five. Okay. I was wondering when you guys were gonna catch up. <laughs> well, then, so three out of five, six out of ten. Either way, our it gets friend Sydney's in the background right now losing it. <laughs> 
Um, all right, Anthony, what would you give this out of 10? I respect your 6 out of 10. Um, Raise me a what? <laughs> yeah. We can't do point five. For out of horror movies. I'm not saying out of <laughs> movies in general. Out of horror, horror movies. Right, right, out of horror right, movies, right. 5 out of 10. Here's how I want to do this. Here's how I want to do this. Here's how I want to do this. What do you want? Five You're five. out of 10. You're out of 20. You're out of 30. <laughs> <laughs> out of 40. I'm out of 50. Okay, okay. Right, okay. Right, That's right, fair. Yeah, yeah, That's out, out, of out, of out of 20. Out of 20. Out of 20. Uh, I'd give it... <laughs> Don't say 18. No. <laughs> Don't even come close. It's I okay. give it a 16.5. Get 16. out. 16.5. 16. Why do you have to be extra? <laughs> <laughs> you know me. <laughs> the point is, it was still a good movie, especially a good horror movie. I would watch it again. I thought that the, the way that it was written was engaging. Even though it was two hours, it was engaging where I still wanted to know what was happening. I had all the prior clues in my mind, and it connected them as we were going through it. So I felt like I was along for a fun ride. You Wikipedia the movie halfway through. 16.5? You Wikipedia the movie. That's my oh, I Wikipedia the movie. Right, 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 I want to figure out what payment was. They didn't talk about him. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on. All right, so out okay, of 30? Out of 30. Out of 30. I would give it a 21 out of 30. With a possibility. 21 out of 30. 21? It's a 7 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> 7 out of 10 with a possibility. <laughs> with a possibility. No, I did it in my head. Um, <laughs> Whoa. Uh, and with a possibility. No of an 8 out of 10 upon rewatching it, possibly. <coughs> oh. it possi- it possibly could get to an 8 out of 10 for me. If I watch it again, I think I would really enjoy this movie. I agree. I think you would realize there's a lot more. We can maybe do a rewatch. Necessary. I already podcast. want to rewatch the movie. Rewatch Just one podcast. more time. Just one In like a month or so. That's fine. Yeah, I'd be right, done. Zach, yeah. out of 40. No, I'll give it a 16 out of 40. 16 out of 40, that's fair. That is really <laughs> low. <laughs> it is. You are, okay. What is, all right, what is that out of 10? It's, 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 right? it's a 2 out of 5 or a 4 out of 10. Four out of ten. I thought four you were with me in life. Why? No, no I, did. I like because you said on a scale of horror movies, and this isn't what I look for in a horror movie. I like shit like Get Out in horror movies, right? I like being scared Ooh. out of my fucking mind. So would you say this you were scared out of your movie. mind and Get dead. Out? No. Jesus Christ, guys. So would you say this is more of a thriller than a horror? No. 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 It's definitely it's not. Who was thriller. thrilled? Okay. I was just. I was, I was asking based off of his explanation. Wait. So hold on. What would you give it out of ten if it was just a regular movie? Just a regular movie. I don't know. Like a. Uh, so in in horror movies, I like being scared, or I like like really intriguing plots, which is what Get Out was. I yeah. Just, this was okay. intriguing okay. in its own yeah. little way. You yeah. It was. It was intriguing. But what I look for in movies is either character development, or if I'm watching a Marvel movie, I just want to have fun. Well, and then. I got neither of those out of this movie. So yeah. for a regular movie, it's like a four out of ten. Still, I, think. I had fun. Like a five out of ten. I Great. couldn't help but laugh at all the smiling faces and dongs whipping around the place. So was, so was it a horror movie when there is? Because it wasn't really even a horror movie. It wasn't. It felt like a horror. horror movie. It felt like a horror. It felt like a horror story. It felt like a horror. There's so much tension. What's a horror? But it wasn't even a story because no one had any agency. Alright, alright, hold on. I, I want to talk about something real quick after Jacob gives his rating. Oh, out of 50. One and a half stars. Out of. <laughs> out of. <laughs> one 50? and a half stars. Out of, out of five stars, so 10.5. Alright, 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 right, right. hold on, hold on. You're supposed to do out of 50. Right, hold on. Is, is this 1.5 out of 5? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So I want to talk about something. Because yeah. <laughs> something just happened really interesting to me, which is the people who have watched horror movies bef- uh, before. Just the me saying that rate this as a horror movie took the rating of the movie down. It didn't for Whereas me. for me, it elevated the rating. If I rated this as a movie, I don't like horror movies that much. This would not make it into mm. my 8 out of 10s out of all movies. Like, like no, definitely at not. all. But you guys, this this because you rated it as a horror movie, it was to detriment. Can you explain that at all? Zach and, Zach and James especially. Um, so... I've, I've watched a decent amount of horror movies. I've seen things that have actually genuinely terrified me. But more so, what I look for in a horror movie is not necessarily be scared. I'm not someone who gets scared in horror movies. I'm someone who gets uncomfortable. I think when she was cutting her head off, that made me uncomfortable. <coughs> and I feel like that's... I feel like, I feel like that's very crucial. I want to be uncomfortable. I want to be made to where it's like, I don't feel like I should be watching this okay. at this moment. Okay. And I've watched several movies that give me that feeling, and this only gave it to me 1.5 times. The one time being when she cut her head off, the point five being when... The uh, chick got her head cut off. Yeah. Knocked off. It got me uncomfortable <laughs> several times. It, me too. Me too. Well, what, what parts made you uncomfortable? I had the, the, the dog, I mean... 
more shocked when the other daughter got beheaded than because I really thought she was going to be the main thing of the movie. I thought mm-hmm. I mean, she was, wasn't away. She wasn't away, but I really did think she was going to be the main thing. So I really wasn't expecting her to die. I knew as soon as she ate that cake and had that a reaction, I was like, she's not going to make it out of this. Really? There's no epipen. She won't make it to a hospital. All of, Most all... people don't even make it past right. ten minutes. But... Zach, Zach, yeah. Zach, address the question I asked real quick. Yeah, you can yeah, other things. Yeah, so it's... depends on the reaction. Yeah, he's looking out the door. Jacob just came back with a beer. Alright, go, go, Jack. Zach now. Okay, so you said uh, why giving it a movie, a rating as a horror movie made it go down. Made it go down. Uh, because I look for other stuff in horror movies than what I found in this movie. Yeah, no, uh, what I look for in horror movies is either being scared out of my mind, right? Or so, like a really intriguing, like a really, I don't know how to say it, like mm-hmm. something, like a get really out, unique, fast, get out, yeah. really unique vision. Unique execution and unique idea, so and this movie, I unique. think, as you pointed out, Jake, I don't think it wasn't really that it unique, unique, right? No, it, it it was just yeah. They put more work into this plot than I the no execution was unique. The execution, the execution was, was yeah, unique, but the, the storyline itself, I think, he, he made it. Yeah, was I just, I mean, I'm just a fan of filming technique. I mean, that sounds really nerdy. The so filming technique very, in this movie was great. great. It was great. Fantastic. I loved it. It was definitely 9 out of 10. You but again, but, but, but it's like you can serve a McDonald's hamburger that looks nice, but it's still yeah, a McDonald's hamburger. That's how I think about it anyways. Okay. <laughs> 9 out of 10 film, like filming for camera well, angles. For camera for, angles. For, not for not just camera angles. It's like in terms of just laying out every it's single It's not piece. Citizen Kane, dude. No, it's not. It's, you know it's what? trash I, compared I, to that. It's trash compared to literally walking outside. I thought it was pretty impressive with, with what mm-hmm. it did. I thought it was I really agree. impressive. I agree. They did a good job with the script they had. Yeah. That they wrote. Well, that someone wrote and then gave it to a director. All right, like, but, all right I'm going to ask another question to James and Ann and um, Zach. Zach, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> where do you rank horror films in, in like your favorite genres? Oh. What do you mean? Like this okay. movie? Or no, horror, no, no. Oh, horror, horror genres versus, genres. Other genres. Um, versus other genres. I can take this oh, one man. first if you want right, to think. Like, okay. What would you see over a horror film? Yeah, no. Horror, horror films for me are definitely low. Because a lot of... Oh. Low. A lot of energy in the movie is devoted away from character development, I think. Because characters are just sort of... They're sort of on a journey that they can't control. And they're just like going from one place to the next. They don't really know how to react. And then That's most of like them die. Movies. That's why I like horror movies, yeah. though. Cause no, it, it's different, right? I just... I don't... I prefer characters that have agency and can sort of make choices, and you can like you know judge Sounds them like for those choices. You want a CW drama that's set in a horror movie, and <laughs> honestly, if that's what you want, The Vampire Diaries just wrapped up that. <laughs> you would love it. I, pro- right, I right. probably wouldn't. But. James, James, give us your, give us your response. Um, I definitely rank this within like my top uh, horror yeah. movies within my top three because I like I like action movies though. I feel like with action movies. There's the there's the whole idea where the heroes always win. I feel like in horror movies, the main characters don't always win. And makes it pretty obvious now. (laughs) It's like they don't always win, but sometimes they do. I don't like that there isn't a lot of character development, but I genuinely do like feeling uncomfortable. I feel like the character development is done by like the, the the circumstances in horror movies yeah, flesh out who the character is. Who these is. people really are. You don't really are. grow. It's more of a defining what that person is. You're peeling back the layers is, of yeah. their psyche. But which, is, which is cool. But the yeah, only thing that, that happened so in this wrong. was the Charlie died. That was the only thing that brought out the character That's not the only thing that happened. No. Well, well so, from, yeah. so it brought in the beginning, it brought out that emo- emotional turmoil in the family. And then it became them getting haunted. But it was mostly... Uh, Annie dealing with that and Steven and um, Peter kind of going through kind of going through their own thing against against the mom, against Annie. And so I felt like the character development really didn't even kick in, especially for Peter. He was scared the whole time. Mm-hmm. Steven was very trying to keep the family together the whole time. Mm-hmm. And but Annie I think the movie, the movie focused, focused on her. It did. The movie focused on her, and and, and, and that Peter. was where it soared. And Peter. And the, the, it did well with Peter too. And I, but Peter didn't. I didn't. I didn't feel that attached to Peter the way I felt to the mom. The mom. I sympathize with Peter. A lot. I no. I sympathize with Peter a lot, but. All we saw from Peter was like, "Oh, I'm scared." Like, right though, you saw more twists and turns with like how the mom was trying to cope, and like everywhere she turned, she couldn't find an answer, and she was just like, "What is happening?" 
And that was more interesting. The, every yes. time the movie focused on her, the movie soared. But then, but that makes her. There was a lot of other stuff. But like, it's a horror movie, so their character development is based well, off of how does the fear cause them to react. It made Peter get more scared of his mom and push her away and deal with this sort of solo being haunted. And then she dealt with this in like a, a fear embracing way, where I'm a medium now. I, I'm I'm gonna solve this by so by weird. talking to our daughter. It's that gonna was, fix everything. Like it was. It flushes out what the characters are trying to be and are going to be by the end of the film. Yeah. But then it's like, so by the end of the film, what is the mom? She cuts her head off. And I felt like, I she felt like possessed. she became a she part of this so, sort of, but no, I feel like, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, no, hold on, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. But, but that's not the end of the movie for her. The no. end of the movie for her is when she lights the book on fire. Yes. That's, that's yeah. her yep. final action. That's, no, that's that character's final action. Yeah. I felt like, her final action... That's where she gets to. I feel like that's really... Like, she got to a point where she was like, I'm done, dude. Like, I'm I'm going out. She was trying to save her family, and she was yeah. just scared of what was happening, and she thought it was going to be she, the, the calling card and, and save everything. And that was nice, but then the way they kind of just ended her was so uncharacteristic for the for what was going on in the entire it movie wasn't. that it felt very... Like, so I mean, what? She's going to... There was, there was a beheading. There. The, so there was beheading, but then there <laughs> was the her movie, clinging yeah. onto the walls, dog paddling out of room. No, she wasn't dog paddling. That, that was, was her. her. That was, was her. It? That was yes, her. Yes, that was her. That was her. She's wearing the same thing. I'm going to have to go back but and watch. So. That was her, but that was her possessed by something. We don't know what that was. It was it was payment. We, do we think that? It was yeah, payment. it was okay. payment. And so, like, her doing that just seemed kind of... Do you know payment? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but her doing that Dog just felt boy. like out of place. <laughs> okay, but same. All right. okay. <coughs> Interesting. Yeah, not no. as good as Jurassic Park. No, 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 for sure not as good as Jurassic Park. Which I, we Park? should definitely the original. The original. Come on, son. Oh God, uh, Grandpa, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's such what? a good movie. Oh my God. What? Mm-hmm. All right, this is this is a conversation oh, for another time. So Anthony <laughs> doesn't like Jurassic Park somehow. Yeah. Um, what? The effects are so good, dude. The effects are so good. The Pause. dinosaurs look Pause. so good. Pause. Do you hear what you're saying? Yes! <laughs> Do you hear it's, what it you're saying? It was made in like the night. Or what was it made? The effects look so they good. They look really good. Those dinosaurs look really good. Those dinosaurs look better than CGI today. 1993. 1993. That's the 1993 CGI. standard? Sure. That CGI holds up. No, it doesn't. It's it does. Pretty <laughs> no, it's pretty good. It's really good. It you should watch good. it again. Better than Land Before again. Time. The Land Before Times is a treasure. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally a nice right, 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 right. right. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up. I think unless anyone else has any points anyone they want to bring up, glaring they want to talk about. That's an hour, guys. No. That is an hour. Yeah. yeah. So we'll Hereditary's see. great. I don't go and see it twice. You know what? I'm not great. Hereditary's good. See it twice. It's okay. I really enjoy. It. I think we have a good panel of people. If you guys will come back and, and do more of these, oh of course, that would be mm. fucking awesome. I'll be yeah. in Baltimore. Um, sure. You just gotta come down. What do you think? All right, we, we, we can talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, thank you for joining us on, I mean, we call these two things, Slasher Versions and Some Porch Podcasts, and also apparently James's homework. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we, this will hopefully get posted relatively soon from us watching it, and you can expect more to come. Um, if you watch this and you don't know us, let us know who you are <laughs> and why you're listening to us. <laughs> you weirdo. You weirdo. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <Go get> a wife. <laughs> <laughs> but to everyone that knows us, hi. Um, we're going to sign out. Um, Payment. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Jacob's, Jacob's here. Zach's here. Everyone, any, any closing remarks? So you couldn't say the black people's name? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony and James are also here to make that clear. And uh, we can sign off whenever you're ready. <laughs> we just had to drop that one in. Oh. Oh. Help Haven. Help Haven. Help Haven. Help Haven.